The work of archaeologists has remained the same throughout the centuries. They dig into the past to uncover the secrets of ancient civilizations. Some of the most recent discoveries made by archaeologists have been extraordinary, and we've packaged together some of the best of them for you in this video. Let's get started. We begin with some exciting discoveries made during a recent excavation in Oman. A team working in the Middle Eastern country in April 2023 uncovered ancient tools, Neolithic tombs, and a mysterious monument that's been nicknamed Arabian Stonehenge. The findings offer valuable insight into the early migration of humans in the region. The excavation was conducted in the Dofar Governant in the southern part of Oman near the Yemen border. Stone axes that date back to the earliest human migration from Africa, which could be over 300,000 years old, were discovered at the site. The discovery of eggshells from extinct ostriches and an old riverbed at the same time suggests that the climate was radically different from what it is today. Perhaps the most intriguing discovery was the 2,000-year-old monument, which consists of triliths or ritual monuments made up of three flat-standing stones that form a pyramid. The purpose of these monuments and who built them remains a mystery. The researchers' findings highlight the mobility of populations of anatomically modern humans and provide a starting point for the formation of contemporary society in southern Arabia. In the bustling city of Paris, a forgotten necropolis containing 50 graves has been uncovered by archaeologists ahead of construction work. The discovery, made just feet away from a busy train station, reveals the largest burial site ever found in the former Gallo-Roman town of Latetia, which once spanned 10 acres along the Seine River, where Notre Dame Cathedral now stands. The St. James Necropolis, as it's known, was used as a burial ground between the 1st and 3rd century CE before it was abandoned in the 4th century. The graves contained the skeletal remains of adults, children, and even a funerary pig, along with various glass and ceramic artifacts, jewelry, and coins. Among the bones, one skeleton had a coin in its mouth, an ancient ritual intended to pay a bribe to the ferryman of the underworld in Greek mythology. The remains have been taken away for analysis, and DNA studies may help provide a better understanding of the population of Paris in antiquity. This find offers new insights into the poorly understood ancient history of Paris and sheds light on the funerary practices of the Parisi, the Gaelic tribe that gave the French capital its name. Next, we head to Mexico, where archaeologists have made an exciting discovery at the world-famous Chichen Itza archaeological site. Unearthing an intricately carved stone that's thought to have served as a scoreboard for the ancient Maya ball game known as Pelota. The circular stone, which is thought to be around 1,200 years old and weighs 88 pounds, features hieroglyphic writing surrounding depictions of two players in elaborate decorative headgear. This rare find is providing experts with new and valuable insight into the history and culture of the Maya. The stone was found face down, two feet underground in the Casa Colorado complex by archaeologist Lisbeth Beatriz Mendicat Perez, where it's believed to have fallen after the archway it once adorned collapsed many centuries ago. The find is significant because it's rare to find even partial examples of hieroglyphic writing at the Chichen Itza site, let alone a full text. The discovery has sparked further analysis of the writing in an attempt to understand its meaning hopefully shedding new light on the fascinating game and the people who played it by the time the experts are done. A group of curious teenagers having fun at Lake Waccamaw near Wilmington, North Carolina, USA, stumbled upon an incredible discovery in April 2023, a nearly thousand-year-old Native American dugout canoe. The ancient canoe, understood to be almost exactly 930 years old, has immediately been accepted as a cherished part of the cultural heritage of the Waccamaw Suian tribe. The tribe, together with the North Carolina Office of State Archaeology, worked diligently to retrieve the canoe from the lake bed where it was found underneath a private dock. In Native American traditions, canoes held great significance and were the primary mode of transportation for many tribes throughout the Pacific Northwest. The 28-foot-long canoe would have been used to transport many a brave, and it serves as a symbol of the many centuries of Native American history in the region. Following its retrieval, the canoe was prayed over by descendants of the tribe 
and placed in a protective container before being transported to a lab in Greenville. Experts hope that a scientific study of the canoe will help to shed light on the history of Native American culture in the area. Hungarian archaeologists have recently made the sensational discovery of a Roman doctor's tomb, containing a rare collection of surgical tools that date back almost two millennia. The ancient burial site was unearthed near the city of Jasberini, approximately 50 miles from Budapest. Experts say that the tomb hadn't been disturbed in over 2,000 years and contained the remains of a 50- to 60-year-old Roman doctor. The doctor's skeletal remains were found alongside wooden chests containing an exceptional collection of his medical instruments, including copper alloy scalpels with replaceable blades, pliers, needles, and a second set of scalpels. A grinding stone was also discovered, which could have been used for preparing medicines or sharpening the physician's many blades. This remarkable collection is only the second complete set of similar ancient Roman medical tools ever found, which tells you everything you need to know about how rare and valuable it is. The discovery provides a rare insight into the medical practices of the ancient Romans, and it's thought that this particular collection could have been used in the service of the Roman legions or for treating prominent individuals in the local population. We're sticking with the topic of incredible discoveries from April 2023. During that month, archaeologists in Trier, Germany, uncovered a 1,600-year-old temple used by a Roman cult that worshipped Mithras, the god of light. This is according to a press release from the General Directorate for Cultural Heritage in Rhineland-Palatinate. The newly discovered underground temple featured a four-foot-tall stone relief statue of a torchbearer for Mithras named Cotus. The statue with a broken right hand depicts Kata standing upright and looking left, the symbolic meaning of which is unknown. Other Roman coins found nearby confirmed that the site was an underground temple or cult space. The Mithras cult was popular among Roman military personnel, and their sanctuaries were typically built in caves or underground, often featuring a depiction of Mithras slaying a bull. Despite Mithras temples being found throughout the Roman Empire, the beliefs and practices of the cult remain mysterious. The site in Trier was abandoned and destroyed by the end of the 4th century, but may still contain clues. The statue of Cottus has been moved to a museum for restoration and preservation. But excavations of the temple are ongoing. New archaeological discoveries from Peru are always exciting but sometimes they can also be a little grisly. In April 2023, Peruvian archaeologists confirmed that they'd unearthed a remarkably well-preserved mummy believed to be over a thousand years old. Found in an underground tomb on the outskirts of Lima, the mummy was wrapped in a funerary bundle along with ceramics, rope, and even bits of skin and hair. The young adolescent who lived between 1100 and 1200 years ago was found in a good state of conservation said archaeologist Yomira Huaman, who heads the Caja Marquia Research Project affiliated with the Universidad Nacional Mejor de San Marcos. The Caja Marquia complex, where the mummy was found, was once home to a thriving pre-Inca culture that flourished along Peru's central coast and in the Andes. In addition to this remarkable discovery, the site has yielded a wealth of other artifacts, including the remains of eight children and 12 adults who were apparently sacrificed around 800 to 1200 years ago. Unfortunately, it's likely that this newly discovered adolescent was also sacrificed. The sprawling complex also features the ruins of four pyramids and other structures, including what appears to be a maze. A group of metal detector enthusiasts struck gold with the discovery of not one, but two Viking treasure hoards in the vicinity of the Viking castle of Firket in Hobro, Denmark in April 2023. Discovered by hobbyist Jane Fogged Munster, Louise Schlossmitt, and Met Nori Backgard, the troves were found just a few feet apart and are believed to date back to the 10th century. The hoards include more than 300 items such as cut-up silver jewelry, silver balls, a ring pin, and coins from Denmark, Germany, and even Arabian countries. The most striking finds are two large and ornately braided silver balls, which were once part of a silver ring pin. The pin is believed to have been acquired from a bishop or king, likely from Ireland. 
a remarkable conclusion given the treasure's location 1,200 nautical miles away from Ireland. The coins found in the hoard bear the symbol of the cross, indicating they were minted toward the end of King Harold Bluetooth's reign and are believed to have been used as part of the Christianization of Denmark. These treasures are currently being examined at the Historical Museum of Northern Jutland, where experts are studying the finds to determine what else they can tell us about Viking history. The tale of our next recent discovery takes us to Italy, where archaeologists near Rome have recently uncovered a fascinating ancient winery that sheds new light on the luxurious lifestyle of the Roman aristocracy. While gladiator duels were popular entertainment for the masses in the Colosseum, the elite of society took trips to this lavish facility to celebrate winemaking. The facility included a purpose-built marble-lined area for treading grapes and fountains of wine, which symbolized the importance of wine and agriculture to the nobility's wealth and power. The villa was most likely built by the Quintili brothers, consuls of Rome in 151 CE before being executed by Emperor Commodus. Emperor Gordian III, who became the sole emperor in 238 CE, later owned and expanded the winery. The level of decoration and comfort here was comparable to the palaces where the emperor lived. Guests could watch each stage of the winemaking process through wide entrances and enjoy the spectacle of men treading grapes with their bare feet. The theatrical nature of the process is underlined by the fountains of wine and the marble motifs that decorated the dining rooms, which were used to entertain guests, possibly even emperors. Recently, construction workers in Phnom Penh, Cambodia, were hard at work at the site of a new water pumping station when they stumbled across an ancient stone lion. The stone beast was broken into two pieces when it was found and had been buried deep. When the workers came across it, they were more than 12 feet below street level. It's possible that the lion is connected to the nearby Wat Phnom Temple as it's similar in design to the lion statues that guard the temple's main stupa and pagoda. But there's a problem with that theory. The temple doesn't appear to be missing any statues. And even if it were, this one is far bigger. Historians in Cambodia have speculated that there was once a large religious structure next to the temple but the building was destroyed long ago and the lion statue was buried. The temple was built in 1372, so it's likely that the lion was made around the same time. But as it's so difficult for scientists to pinpoint the age of stone artifacts, there's no way of knowing. A remarkable discovery was made at The Star, a pub in Hoddesdon, Hertfordshire, England, during recent renovation work within the building. The inn was once owned by Elizabeth I's confidant, William Cecil, also known as Lord Burghley. And Cecil himself is believed to be depicted on the five wall panels depicting figures from the Elizabethan era uncovered during the Restoration. Experts believe that one of the figures in the painting might be the Queen, although this can't be definitively stated. The panels, which show figures dressed in their finest clothing, were most likely commissioned by William Cecil shortly after he purchased the inn in 1580. Experts have described the find as incredibly rare and stated that they have local and national significance. Despite being over 500 years old, the paintings have survived many alterations over the centuries and were preserved as part of the pub. The building, which is Grade II listed, boasts architectural features dating back to the mid-1400s, including roof beams that suggest the building might once have been a medieval open hall. Who's to say that Queen Elizabeth herself never enjoyed a drink here? A stunning find has been made at the Hebesuo Archaeological Site in China's Yunnan Province in March 2023. More than 10,000 ancient bamboo and wooden slips known as Jiandu dating back over 2,000 years. Bamboo or wooden slips were used to create books that could be written on and rolled up like scrolls before paper was invented and became widely used. Of particular interest are the seal impressions which include official seals from 20 of the 24 counties ruled by the ancient Dian Kingdom, a non-Han culture of sophisticated metal workers who were centered in modern-day Yunnan. Emperor Wu of Han annexed the kingdom in 109 BCE. Some of the discovered slips contain the names of counties, including Dian Qi County and Jianling County, that once belonged to the Yizhao Prefecture. 
Other characters, such as the county magistrate and Dion Cheng, the prime minister of Dion management, were also discovered, revealing the existence of a well-designed social administrative system that was used to govern the southwest border area. The discovery is a testament to the rich, multi-ethnic cultural history of China and demonstrates the country's unified nature over the centuries. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications and you'll be the first to know when a new video comes out. Thank you for watching.